Meantime, the search and recovery effort for Haitian migrants who died on the weekend when their boat sank in the Abaco Keys continued today. The news came as a blow to the local Haitian community. A Haitian leader shared what comes next with our Cleopatra Murphy. Following the untimely deaths of at least 27 Haitian nationals, after the Haitian sloop they were on capsized in waters off Fowl and Manowar Keys in northern Abaco Friday night, President of the League of Haitian Pastors, Dr. Jean Paul Charles, says the Haitian Pastors League and officials from the Haitian Embassy are planning to give them a proper burial. Pastor Charles contends that out of desperation, Haitian nationals risk their lives at sea in the quest for a better life and says the Haitian government has failed the Haitian people. Until the Haitian uh, government you know, work together to build a better Haiti, we will have things like that keep on repeating. We, we had one in 2013, 2009 we had, but right now look what happened again. And I think the Haitian government, they must, you know, the opposition in Haiti also, they need to work with the government to see how they can build, you know, uh, create jobs for the people who are risking their lives to come to a, for a better place. The senior Haitian pastor says his heart goes out to anyone that has lost a loved one in the tragedy, and he also believes tougher legislation must be implemented to punish smugglers who engage in human trafficking. After the tragedy, the U.S. Embassy in Haiti tweeted, No journey is worth risking lives and stress the voyages often end in tragedy. It is a warning Charles says he often gives to no avail. I tell them, even explain them how immigration laws you know, now people used to pay you know how much now how much they have to pay again I explain them all of that you know but it's still when people desperate they would do whatever you know as you can see happen over the weekend. Pastor Charles says the Haitian community locally and abroad are anxious for more details on what turned out to be a deadly voyage. They want to know which one you know uh, alive which we, we we don't know yet we don't. Uh, it that identify the the one who are alive, and then we can see which one are dead. They keep calling from Haiti to see if we can give them an answer. The Haitian leader says the country's problem is a complex one, extending from when Haiti, as the first black nation, fought for independence in 1804. Pastor Charles says he wants prosperity for his country, where people are still suffering since the 2010 earthquake, and there is constant political turmoil. People elect that president. Uh, you know, Honorable Jov Jovenel Mo Moses, but you still see an opposition fighting now, fighting him now for him to quit the power. That's what created most of the problem we have in Haiti. Prime Minister Dr. The Most Honorable Hubert Minnis also shared his regret over the events of the weekend that resulted in the loss of lives and says he hopes migrants become more cognizant of the danger. We welcome um, individuals into our shores and they can come um, the legal route, and they would be welcomed. Um, they would not be subjecting themselves to the potential trauma of the seas. Uh, but again, I want to send um, condolence to those um, families, and uh, we will continue to pray to pray for them. Cleopatra Murphy, Sadness Network News.